For the Bulldogs make the short trip from Starkville over to Tuscaloosa. Some SEC Network hoops coming your way from Coleman Coliseum. Through Herb Jones at that four spot. Good ball movement initially. Avery was preaching that in shoot around this morning. Boy, how about the tip from Hall off the miss of Dazon Ingram? I think he's coming into the senior in the block. Two fades, two misses. Lewis. Is that kid something, though? Averaging almost 14 a game, 13th in the conference as we get to a break. I tell you what, in transition D, you've got to be at the point of attack of that ball screen or Kyra Lewis is going to get it to the basket. Oh. Ingram says, I'll take that. Here we go in transition again, two on one. Petty, oh, great hustle by Q. Dante Hall. It looks like they're headed in that direction. Well, they've certainly done good work to this point. But as we approach February, that's when you have to rise up, much like Dante Hall. Fast, you can see every opportunity to push. They're trying to explore that. Got Riley Norris now in it can really stretch at that four spot. Norris cuts oh, to the basket. That's lazy. good basketball. That's Dave Neal basketball. Yeah. That's how we run it. Boy, it's getting heated up here inside Cole Collins. Right here. We'll give and go, feeding off the point. Oh! Back! Oh! Back zone! Back zone! Run! Run, Mac! Would you drive the ball? So, will we just catch the ball and drive it? I think he wants him to drive yeah, it, Dave Neal. Yeah. At four three pointers in his last outing. That SEC Big 12 matchup with Baylor. Shot clock down to two. Norris. Oh, wow. Fouled on the three by Reggie Perry. That is a bailout. Little horns action. High ball screen is going to lead to a four out. Herb Jones, who has yet to make a three pointer in SEC play, is very good at that. <laughs> Herbert Jones, the sophomore. Averaging six and a half points, throws that one down. Jump shot from Lamar Peters, but a moment ago, this is what it looked like. Just slides through, and Bama's, Bama's spacing is so good. The help is so far away from the offensive glass, keeping balls alive. Yeah, six offensive rebounds for the Bulldogs. High arching shot won't drop. Oh. There's Smith working hard. He has a chance for a three-point play. They also lead the SEC in offensive rebounding percentage at about 35% of their own missed shot. You see right here, activity on the glass. Good, strong finish for a chance for the old fashions. Kyra Lewis Jr. running the point for Alabama. Off to Norris. 4-4 from behind the arc and a season best 16 on Saturday against Baylor. Oh, oh no! Dante Hall with a one-hand flush and will head to the line. Great look by Kyra Lewis. Of course, it's like me working with you. All you got to do is get it close, and Dave Neal will do the rest. That's what Dante Hall does. Goodness. What a finish. Dave, is this reminiscent of where we were last <laughs> Good action again. I love the spacing early. Great action. Playing through that pitch post. Dante Hall is an underrated passer, too, Dave Neal. Great action here, playing through Dante Hall. Kyra Lewis active off the ball into a layup. Good move. Yeah! Good D, AJ! Oh! Come on, keep coming! High ball screen, Kyra Lewis with good penetration, which leads to Mac penetration. That's a strong, strong finish. The Transfer State responds with a Holman throwdown. Great penetration there by Lamar Peters. Alabama helps up, and Mississippi State plays over the top. Kyra Lewis to the free throw line. That's the third on Quindary. Again, Avery weeks ago started running offense through this young man because of his playmaking ability. That's five tonight. 
Loose ball on the deck. Holman oh, had wow. it for a moment and lost it. Smith will finish with authority. Those will make coaches lose their hair. Great. Again, I have not done a game this year, Dave Neal, where every point was at the basket. Every one. They're just driving it, laying it in, driving it, laying it in. Somebody's going to have to sit down and stay in front of that ball, especially oh, for nine. Mississippi State, two for 12. They're doing it off drives and finishes in the paint. And it looks like Alabama's going back to the paint with their best three-point shooter, John Petty. Petty averaging 11 and a half points a game. Gets that one to go to this two-game road trip if you're Mississippi State. Alabama's led by as many as 14. Boy, they've gone to Petty a couple possessions down low. It's been impressive. Hey, he's, he's done a good job of his post game. He's struggling a little bit in the second half. Mississippi State has carved this from 12. Back to seven off the acrobatic. It's all Mississippi State. Here comes Petty back to Ingram. Great vision. Boy, Avery Johnson Jr. just can't buy a bucket. Now that is acrobatic. I want to tell you, he, Dave, he heard that you were still doubting. <laughs> yeah. Very solid ears from Riley yeah. Norris. He wants to show you that the last bucket was not a fluke. I am no longer a doubter. What an agile. That is a great drive, left-handed. So now you've got screen, roll, replace, Petty. First three of the night for Alabama. That was a well set up play. And five out of the state of Georgia from South Georgia in Thomasville. Another good decision by Dazon Ingram. Ingram, love it. Two Weatherspoon with four fouls. Did a wise thing for Alabama. Air ball from Perry, too strong. Ingram back the other way. Bounce pass to Jones. Timeout, Bulldogs. With the line. It's that one to go down in the year. Days on Ingram, a 70% foul shooter. 74% in league play. And he's a fourth year junior who has been through these battles, Dave. You know. Like to see the young man back on the floor. Glad he's not hurt. And he's the guy you want at the line if you're Avery Johnson. Two pickups. Decision maker Q Weatherspoon. Tyson Carter with a double. He's got an open three. And blocked by Lewis right into the hands of Hall. And a quick foul against the Bulldogs. Kyra Lewis came flying out of nowhere to block that. You could see Ben Howlett was trying to go for the tie. He's got Tyson Carter in a misdirection off a baseline stagger. Bama hadn't been in the top 25 a whole bunch under Avery Johnson. And this is another quadrant one win. Yeah, this is a good one. No which doubt. is a very important one for Avery Johnson.